Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be demoing the LL Dev 1 solar low light uh, development kit um, that we have uh, developed uh, to help peop uh, de people, engineers, hobbyists, uh, techies um, power their stuff with solar. Uh, so right here in front of us we have what comes in the, the box. We have a spec sheet um, that just gives a little bit more information about the dev kit itself. We have the uh, two solar panels uh, with leads connected. Uh, we have the actual uh, LL Dev 1 um, PCB board. And then we also include a 40 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium, lithium polymer battery. Um, to get an idea of, a better idea of how it works, uh, this diagram um, shows how the, the connections are, are made. Um, you basically um, hook your solar up to the, the board through the solar terminals. Um, you can connect your, your battery uh, to the battery terminals um, and then any low power electronics that you want to power um, using this, this kit, uh, you can connect through uh, connect to directly to the, the output terminals. Um, and uh, so that, that's a simple way to um, experiment and play around with, with what's possible. Um, and today we are going to be demoing um, three different devices uh, that, that can be powered using our, our low light uh, development kit. One is the a Bluetooth beacon. Um, this is a Nordic Bluetooth beacon. Um, these are extremely low power uh, and able to uh, it's a one-way connection where the, the beacon broadcasts a signal uh, and then your, a smartphone or smart device can detect that signal and then react to it. Um, so we'll see how, how that can be powered. Uh, the second application is a, a fan. Um, so in some cases you can actually generate enough power to run um, low power actuators uh, or motors um, as we'll see in this uh, setup. Um, and then the third application uh, we'll actually be demonstrating how our solar um, low light dev kit can power a electronic door lock. Um, so let's jump right in and s power up the, the Nordic beacon. So for instead of the lithium ion battery, I'll use a capacitor um, so that we can see the charging and discharging in real time. Um, so first I'll connect the, the capacitor to the battery terminals. Next I'll connect the solar to the solar terminals. Finally, I'll just I'll connect the beacon to the output terminals. Um, as you can see, the beacon uh, light is flashing, which is indicating uh, that it's now broadcasting. Um, I also have a multimeter. Um, which we will be used to, to monitor the voltage on the capacitor um, so that we can see it charge and discharge. So right now we're at 4.18 volts. Um, the board is pre-configured to charge a lithium polymer battery uh, which has a termination voltage of uh, 3 volts. Um, so now I'll, I'll, I'll connect to the beacon uh, using my, my phone, um, using the Nordic uh, beacon app. Um, so right now I have the, the, I've detected the beacon and it's indicating that I'm, I'm really close or at the beacon. Um, and I've configured the app to show a picture of Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa uh, once, the once the phone detects that the beacon has uh, gone out of uh, a, li a small distance away from uh, physically from the beacon uh, or just near the beacon.
So once I once the, the phone detected that it had moved uh, slightly away from the beacon, um, it shot up a picture of Mona Lisa. Um, and that's kind of the, the idea of the uh, beacons. Um, and they're very extremely low power consumption. If I cover up the, the solar panel, you can see the capacitor start to discharge. Uh, if I uncover the solar panel, the, the capacitor will charge back up. Um, so our solar is easily, in this environment, um, we're easily able to power uh, beacon applications. Um, and to show the, the light level, I have a, a lux meter here, um, just so that you have an idea of what the light level in this room is running. Um, so right now we're at about 1300 uh, lux, which is uh, pretty typical in a bright working environment. Um, or if you're near a window, uh, and that just gives a little bit more flexibility, uh, provides a little bit more power uh, for the, the heavier power consumption devices such as the fan and the door lock as we'll see um, here in a second. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, take, get the, the fan application up and running. For this application, I'm using a 3300 microfarad capacitor. Um, for the previous uh, beacon, I was using a 1500 microfarad capacitor. So the fan is a little bit higher power consumption. Uh, so we are going to use four low light panels, uh, which will provide a little bit more power um, just for this demonstration. Um, so first I'll connect the, the capacitor uh, to the battery terminals. And to save time, the, the capacitors were pre-charged. Uh, in this light, uh, these capacitors would take uh, a couple minutes to charge up. And the board is configured to charge the capacitors up. Um, to route about five volts and then the fan will turn on and discharge the, the stored energy um, and then the, the capacitors will charge back up again and it'll uh, just keep repeating that process. So as you can see, once the capacitor is charged up to about five volts, the fan will turn on, um, the capacitor will be discharged, um, and then it'll, it'll charge back up to five volts and then turn the fan back on. Um, so this kind of pulsing application uh, where the, the load is only connected for a small portion of time, um, uh, that can be used to, to power some of the higher power applications. So next we're going to look at the, the door lock application, uh, which will use the, the same panels. <clears throat> and this setup was actually configured to charge uh, two 10 farad uh, supercapacitors which are able to provide the high output current that's required by the door lock. Um, and since the output current is a little bit higher than what's rated for the output terminals of our board, we are going to uh, power the, the door lock directly uh, using the super, using the, the super caps. Um, and I have a light connected here, um, and that, that's set up to indicate um, when the super caps are, are um, above about 80% charged. So the, the door lock itself is, is manufactured by a company uh, called MyLocks, and they have a, an app that you can download on your smartphone, um, which is able to connect to the door lock and uh, actually tell it to lock and unlock. Um, you can also uh, type in the, a code to the front, 
which I have set to uh, be one, two, three, four. So you can see once I power or connected the door lock to power, uh, my phone, did, uh, the Bluetooth turned on and my phone was able to connect to the door lock. I can unlock the door by, by swiping over and uh, then lock it again. Or I can also use the, the code to do the, the same thing. And I can get about 20 uh, lock cycles um, using the, this capacitor setup. Um, in this light environment, these capacitors will take about uh, an hour to, to charge up. Um, if they're placed in a brighter environment, uh, say right next to a window or on the outside uh, surface of a door, um, they could be charged in as little as 15 minutes. Um, so very, very viable uh, solution. Um, for an electronic door lock, oftentimes they get they get really good light, um, so that is one one good application uh, of our low light solar. So I hope you learned a little bit more about the the possibilities of of, of solar and and what's feasible. Um, this uh, low light development kit is intended to jumpstart ideas and, and allow developers to play around and experiment with with what's possible with with solar. Um, solar doesn't only have to be outside, it can be inside, it can be in shaded areas, um, and it all depends on the power requirements. You can have super low power beacons, um, or you can have really um, moderate, high, moderate to high power uh, motors and actuators, um, and, and it can make some, some really cool uh, applications and uh, devices. Um, if you have any ideas or, or projects that you want um, to see if you can um, power through solar, um, please reach out to, to PowerFilm and we would love to help you make that happen. Um, we do custom solutions, we're a customer oriented business and we, we can make a solar solution that, that works for, for your application. Thanks.